Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is Dynamic Server Subsystem and is it a good choice for your project. First of all, what is Dynamic Server Subsystem? Dynamic Server Subsystem is a plugin that helps you scale your maximum number of players while utilizing Unreal Engine networking. So basically, we are using the stock Unreal Engine networking. Usually, if one server can hold like 50 players, we can spin up a new server to hold 50 more players or spin up two, three, four server dynamically in order to hold up all of our players. This is the logic behind dynamic servers subsystem. Dynamic server subsystem supports a couple of architecture. So first of all, you could host your Unreal Engine project on Windows Server, on Linux x86 or Linux ARM based servers. All is gonna be supported out of the box with dynamic servers subsystem. Next, you have the ability to synchronize the date and time across all your servers without any issue. The last thing that we are gonna mention here is that you might have multiple servers hosted on multiple regions for the optimal ping. Okay, is it a good choice for your particular project? Here we are gonna talk about two types of projects. Let's say your project is based on matchmaking. You should have your own API in order to team up the players based on statistics and let's say player statistics and the level. After that, you need to, um, let's say, choose which map should be used by the players and what server instance should the player be spawned on, okay? After that, you can use the Blueprint API or the C++ API in order to create a new server for the player's server instance and spawn all the players on the same server instance and then terminate the player after finishing the match. This is the first type of the project. But let's say you want to go and create your own MMO. In this particular type of projects, you have two options. The first option is to have a big map. This map is split into zone servers. So basically, the, the big map could be split into six, seven zones. Each zone is going to be loaded on a separate server. The player is not going to be able to interact if they are spawned on different zone servers. And then each zone server can have multiple servers in order to scale horizontally. The other option is to create a one big map with one zone. This way, you are gonna just scale horizontally, but all the players on the same map will be able to interact with each other. And the second option is not optimal if your map is so big because the players not gonna be able to see each other anyway. The 50 number of players gonna be spreaded on a big map, which is not a good idea for the MMO games. So you should consider the both options. The last thing that is going to be provided by Dynamic Server subsystem is the dungeon instantiation. So let's say you have a couple of players that is uh, having a party and want to go inside a dungeon in order to fight some sort of bosses. You have the option to create dynamically a new dungeon instance, spawn the players with the same dungeon ID inside it, and then terminate directly the dungeon instance after the players left the server. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.